All right guys, what is going on? Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is J-Rob. And guys, today we definitely got a little different kind of video going on. As you can tell by the title, had a rather traumatic experience. One of my first times out on the Skanu. Pretty much long story short, I was out one night uh, after work fishing the river. Nonetheless, let's just say it was an extremely low tide. It was me out there on this canoe with the four horse Suzuki on the back. Definitely an experience uh, that I have learned from. But a very costly mistake for your boy. So I'll just tell you how it is. Nothing was tethered down. The boat was completely filled to the water. It was actually it was actually sitting underneath the water. So we're about to go and roll the clip. We're gonna start where we are finishing up the fishing and we're gonna take it all the way to when we are on our way back to the launch because that's when it happened. I don't wanna get caught in my pants. I'm watching it on the MacBook right now. Uh, okay, I'm but I'll just be on the dark. top screen here somewhere. I don't know. I'm watching it. <laughs> Got him. Dude, they fight so hard in here. My guy, just give up. What is this other way? Is that a bass? Oh yeah, I couldn't tell what he was because the water is so stained. Bass? I thought he might have been yeah, like a bass. or something. Ooh, I don't bass. Even know. There we go, guys. Wow, skin hooked. Oh wow. Little dude got some teeth. Alright guys, there we go. A little healthy river bass right there. Skin hooked him right there. Just barely got him. First fish caught on the canoe. It's pretty awesome. Just gonna let him go. It's getting dark. We're gonna go back to the launch. Goodbye, little buddy. There you go. Man, just pitching around docks, man. I don't like this kind of fishing, but I mean, it just works. Motor down and uh, get on out of here. But yeah, I don't really love fishing these fishing uh, slow like that. I don't know why. I just like a thump from like a moving a moving bait, you know. But. I guess sometimes when you want to catch fish, you got to throw what fish want to eat. Two. Two. Let's because it goes really fast. Like, it goes really fast. Compared to what I'm used to in the Bass Raider. So like, I'm not used to speed at all. So you'll see here. Here's the up, here it is. We hit bottom, and then it tipped. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm actually gonna rewind it here really quickly. So let's watch this back. Okay, it hits the bottom. Oh. Tips, yep, tips all the way, it fills all the way up. The motor is what like tips it. And then it's still spinning, not wearing the kill switch. Got my phone. Like an idiot. And you can just see all my stuff, my paddle is just going down the river. I rev it all the way down to idle. And then it kind of just shuts off on its own. <laughs> I didn't even press the kill switch. So now my boat is sitting at the bottom of the river. I mean, it has to be pretty shallow. Look at me talking. Like I'm not like freaking out. Oh, that, oh, no. that blue bag right there was my old camera bag and it had my old camera in it. You know, it's kind of a blessing in disguise because I really love the setup I have now. Yeah, so that was the first first five hundred dollars that just went bye bye. But the next thousand dollars was a big, huge rip. Just got that replaced today as a recording of this video. Press play. Yeah, I got I grabbed the tackle bag once, um, but then I dropped it because I dropped it. Though. I let go of it again, as you see, and it's floating away. Okay, it's not the last time I let go of it. 
And that was like another $100, $150 too in that bag. I gotta pull it to shore. Okay, my keys. My keys are in there. My keys. That's when I let go. And you can see the phone just dipped it straight underneath oh, the river. Oh no. I just gotta pull it to shore. And now you see the tackle bag drifting away. Oh gosh. What? I'm literally standing in the middle of the river. That, at that moment, I, I like the five go. stages of grief, go, go, go. depression, that was anger. I can see the bottom. I can see the bottom right there. All right, this is starting to be acceptance. <laughs> Mullet. Oh, gosh. How hard is the bottom? Okay, the bottom's hard. All right. Oh, shit. What are you doing? Why are you... Okay. Why are you flipping? No, stop. Stop that. Oh uh, yeah! Thankful the ground is hard right here. My bag's floating away. I lost my camera. We're good for now. If I can get up on shore, if I get up on shore, I can drain it. Get myself back to the boat. Launch. Keys are gone, I look I think. I'm not sure how this happened. Alright, we're good. We're good guys. Oh I just touched something. What is this? Okay, I don't know what I'm stepping over here. All right. Oh, thank God my keys are there. Thank you, Jesus. All right, I can empty the boat. Uh, I can empty the boat. Oh, lost I'm the sorry camera. to the conservationists out there. Uh, yeah. We got a little more intimate with the river than I <laughs> had anticipated today. Oh, oh, that was terrifying. All right. Oh, that was absolutely terrifying. So this is me dragging on the shore. I wasn't that far from like dry land. This is all usually underwater, by the way. This is me trying to pump it out. I built this pump. I need a, I need a better method. It's like watching a car wreck happen. A car wreck that you're in. So you guys, that is that. So uh, lessons learned. Uh, one, always wear your kill switch when you're out there, especially on a small vessel. When you got an outboard on a canoe or like small jumbo, any tiller handle outboard, just wear your kill switch. I have since <laughs> and probably will every single time. Second thing I learned is the tethers. If you have a small vessel, even like a kayaks, canoes, anything like that, tether down all your important-ish. Gonzo, get out of here. Look at this little idiot. Okay, so another lesson learned, uh, go slow. Definitely slow down, especially in unfamiliar water. Go slow, especially in a wig zone, which that was. Me being ignorant, didn't go slow. So I paid the price so that all of you guys don't have to. It was a $1,500 mistake, very costly, and $1,500 it was because dipping my phone in and out of the water cost me an iPhone 11. Backpack, that, that green one that floated away probably had at least 100 to 150 dollars worth of tackle and lures but you know what happened you saw the video so lost all of that well guys that is my very sad story hope you guys learned something hope i can bring some entertainment at least if you guys didn't learn anything that's all i got y'all so thanks for tuning in stay blessed and i will catch up with y'all in the next one peace